What's cracking you two? My name's Brody and welcome back to episode number five of our Pokemon Y Wonderlock going down on the channel right now. So in the last episode, uh, what happened was we challenged the Santaloon City Gym. Uh, I guess you could say things got a little bit sticky, um, but with Gibble uh, having Dragon Rage, we absolutely made Viol Viola think things weren't as fantastic as they seemed because she just thought everything was fantastic but I bet she didn't think it was fantastic when Gibble came along and one-shotted her Surskit. <laughs> oh but that was crazy good times good times but let's have a quick party recap so you guys can see that nothing funny has been going on off cam but yes yeah, so we got the level 13 Gibble with Sandstorm, Dragon Rage, Outrage and Iron Head definitely the MVP of the last episode um, we've got Flare the Fennekin, uh, level 11 with Scratch, Tail Whip, Amber, and Howl. We've got uh, the ta Taylor, level 12, with Brave Bird, Growl, and Focus Energy. The level 6 Kangaskhan that we received in the last episode with Common Punch and Leer. So yeah, on route towards the end of the last episode, on Route 22 where we are right now, um, I caught a Bidoof, I believe it was the Bidoof, and we went and traded that off and we got this. So that is epic, epic, epic. Uh, but let's move on, let's continue on. Because in today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to get Kangaskhan actually. We'll change Kangaskhan. Throw Kangaskhan at the front there. And we're going to cruise through Route 22 with Kangaskhan as our main. To um, kind of grind, grind our way up. Because I believe we beat this pretty lady last episode. Yeah. So we beat her, so we still got to cruise through here, we'll, we may as well take advantage of the situation and um, get some quick XP with Kangaskhan. So we got Lass Ellen with a Goldeen. She got that Goldeen on land, don't you love it? <laughs> Goldeen's just like magically just floating, it's crazy, crazy stuff. So we're on par, we're level 6. Level 6 first, level 6 here. Okay, hit three times. Oh yeah, I turned, um, I, I realised towards the end of the last episode that I turned battle animations off. So I, um, I quickly fixed that before I started this episode. But yeah, the goal is to cruise our way through Route 22, and then we want to talk to Viola's sister, I can't remember her name. Um, and then make our way up through Route 4, I believe it is. Um, so, in today's ep episode, it's going to be a lot of grinding. But, um, it should be a good time. And I'll, I'm trying to get our encounter in Route 4 in today's episode. So, I uh, look forward to that later on in the episode as well, guys. Cool, so I'm just going to be careful. Stop it now. What is the deal? So I still have full health, that's all good. It's gonna be a little bit progressive here. I could I could potentially switch train and uh, speed up the process, but I think Genghis Khan's holding its own pretty pretty well here. Awesome. So there's this is a quick level. That's what I gotta watch out for. I gotta watch out for these uh, fast levels. Like legit, that's two Pokemon. Ooh, and we got fake out, not bad. Oh, and we nearly went up another level. Cool. Goldie and Meryl, I'm so sorry. I'll get you both healed right up at the Pokemon Center. Thanks for the money, woman. Appreciate it. It's going to a good cause to support the uh, support the Wonderlock. So what's down here? Oh, okay. So it's just trying to show off that there's an item there. Ha. 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 I'm just going to run away from this one. Let's get out of here. Level 7 is in wrong. Okay, so let's battle this pretty lady. Okay, the trick to quickly raising a lower level Pokemon is to keep it in the top left spot in your party. Then as soon as you get into a battle, quickly switch out for a stronger Pokemon in your party. Oh yeah, switch training. Thanks for the tips. I was the biggest fan of Grace the famous Rhyhorn racer. I even went to faraway regions to watch her races and cheer her on. Well, isn't that nice? What's the sign say? Trainer tips. Yep. I really... Oh, hold on. In a battle, you can check your Pokemon's move. Oh, okay, yeah. 
I I knew that, but thank you for the refresher. Is battling is Pokemon battling just a hobby to you, or do you want to become a pro? I love the Ace Trainer theme. It's like did it did it did it. Oh, so it's a rising star as well. And that's Loic. Rising Star Loic. So I believe the Ace Trainer Rising Star and there's a couple of others have the same sort of like battle intro theme in the game. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, I should have faked out. Damn it, I should have faked out. Because this could be bad going up against a Ryolu with a normal type Kangaskhan. Oh no! God damn it. Stop it. I don't like that. Goddamn hacks. Endure the hit. Goddamn endure. Don't use it again. I, s oh, I was gonna say. I swear to God. Isn't Ryo really just cute? So cute. There we go. So there's another quick level. Like legit. I think it was pretty, it was a pretty good idea not to get this encounter and then do some grinding because I would have grinded and then realized, oh, there's still this whole route to uh, kind of clear out. I was, I was considering doing this in a grinding montage um, to clear it out, but I thought it is my first let's play. Let's just play through and just enjoy it. Soak it all in. Okay, Bumblebee. So I think, I think having Kangaskhan in the team is going to be, ooh, dang. It's going to be a good thing, because Kangaskhan should be able to take a hit, but at the same time, it has no resistance. Dang, so I was at defense fell. I'm not liking where this is heading with this bundle be. Hopefully we can get the KO here. Yeah, awesome. Things get serious, like once you get like that uh, defense drop, you can't really judge because that first attack did 15 damage, 15 hit points. Once you get that defense drop, it could, with a crit, a potential crit, could be GG. Tell me the truth, Bunnelby is the only Pokemon I've got. Okay. Well, these little kids. We gotta, we gotta clear them. We gotta teach them not to mess with the, uh, mess with the pro. Let's go. Who's next? Who's next? We got school, schoolboy Rabbi. Rabbi. Interesting. Very interesting name, Rabbi. I've never heard of someone with that name, to be honest. Let me know in the comment section below if you know someone with the name Rabbi. But let's go, Pidgey. So there shouldn't be too much more left in this route from what I remember. I believe it kind of like, kind of just ends. Like you defeat all these trainers and then it just comes to a standstill with like a trainer kind of blocking your way. If memory serves me right. But there we go. A Metapod. So. Our health is getting pretty low right now. Comment punch PP is getting a bit low. Come on. No. That animation though for Harden. So it just sparkles. So, um... I was gonna... I was going to say, when we get the EXP share from Viola's sister, I'm not actually going to use that because I believe it's going to make this too easy, if you guys know what I mean. I feel as if using that, we've already got the boosted XP and then sharing the boosted XP is yeah, just going to make this way too easy and I want to have some sort of a challenge, like that last gym was just a walk in the park, it just wasn't even funny, it was not even funny. Okay, so she doesn't want to battle. Ah, cheers. Appreciate it. 
she was just saying that there's the small ledge just behind her there that uh, we can jump over. We get the last Elsa, and she's got that flower baby. Oh, I forgot that Kangaskhan's PP is a bit low. Oh, three hits and she's out. Yeah, laters. Just gotta get that power up punch uh, combo going with Kangaskhan. Then we're sweet. Just power up punch, comet punch. It's all good. Oh no, Fly Baby, are you okay? Fly Baby, okay? It's it's all my fault. I'm so sorry. I'd love to just see what the NPCs say. Okay, so yeah, that leads down to I believe you get Earthquake down there, which is one of the mains in the like one of the best moves in the game. But yes, so here is the gate. What, what's here? I believe this is where you come to a standstill. Yes. Yep. Where do you think you're going? Listen up. Taking on challenges may be important, <laughs> but. That is for what lies beyond here. You're not ready to tackle that yet. Oh. And you are, huh? You are? Yeah. So awesome. So we've cleared out the route. That is excellent. So let's utilize that shortcut. Oh, let's pick up this. Super potion. Cool, that's useful. Appreciate it. Awesome. And that's Route 22 cleared. So let's take a check here. Awesome. Let's heal up and then head over to Route 4. Let's go to talk to Viola's sister. Quick, heal me. Awesome, check the crew on the screen. I love the kind of like cut shot here. It's like kind of like up on an angle. But let's go. Tiano's still chilling in the Pokemon Center. <laughs> I'm guessing he's a little bit tired. It's a hard life, I tell you. It's a hard life. But here we go. Hey. Oh, you. You are, aren't you? You're one of the kids who got a Pokemon from Augustan Sycamore, right? Would you look at that? You got the bug badge. Looks like I might have a new scoop. To beat Viola at... Your young age, you are really something, aren't you? Oh, sorry. I never did introduce myself, did I? I'm Alexa. Alexa. I should have known that. The gym leader you, you just faced for Iola is my younger sister. I worked as a journalist. I work as a journalist myself. Here, why don't you take this to celebrate getting your first badge? So there we go. There's the expected EXP share. If you have an EXP share and you turn it on, all of your Pokemon on your team get e EXP points. Even if they don't appear in a battle, I hope it get, helps your training. Yep, so we may use it for training, for grinding, but other than that, no deal. I work at the big, uh, big publishing house up in Limio City. Feel free to stop by anytime if you have the next big, big scoop to share with me. Awesome. So... So we can get an encounter here, Route 4. Let's do it, let's straight up, not even hesitate. Here we go. So it's a fly baby. Hopefully this will be nice and easy. We'll try, we'll try the classic car. Pokeball straight up, see if we can get that quick, quick catch on. Oh, look at that. Awesome. I was like, what? What? But awesome. So we got that, um, oh, I love the XP for getting the capture as well. That is awesome. Oh, so what, what should we call Fly Baby? Um... I wonder if we can call it just like, let's go something like straight up. Let's just go 
full hour. Fairy. Let's go straight up and let's just call it Flower Fairy. No, no spaces. Awesome. So let's uh, let's go into Wonder Trade. Cause as you guys know, once we capture a Pokemon, it's gone. It is gone, and we get a new addition to the team. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We're hoping for straight power, but low level power that we can use right now. Awesome. So we're connected to the internet. So we want Flower Baby. So it was level 7 Flower Baby named Flower. F I, I spelt it wrong. F A I Y. That's okay. It's all good. God damn it. God damn it. It's okay. At least it's uh, noticeable if it's uh, from me. But let's go, let's trade it off. God damn it, I spelled it wrong. It's supposed to be flower fairy, not flower fa fa <laughs> Oh, what is life? What is life? Awesome. Look at the little like um it's like Pikachu. Kinda like dimples on Flop Baby's cheeks. But let's see what we can get. We've, we've actually got really good one trades, like, for this whole Let's Play. But we got, um, Melaney, May Melaney from France, Pays de la, 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 la? I, I, yeah, I butchered that completely. I have no clue where that place is. Oh. <laughs> we got a squirtle. I, I, I don't know what to say. We are getting straight power for this wonder lock, I tell you now. I'm going, like, I may cry if we lose someone at this current moment, because we've got a solid team getting built right now. So finally, we've got that water resistance that I was looking for. But let's get out of here. And let's take a look at Squirtle. So yes, it is a level one Squirtle. I believe Fly Baby was level seven. So, we will rare candy Squirtle up to level 7, but let's check the stats. So, it's a level 1 Squirtle with Tackle, has the ability Torrent, which powers up water type moves when the Pokemon is in trouble, which is not the greatest. Um, it was from Elissa, so it's up on speed, but lowered on special defense. So that can be good, but it can be bad at the same time, and is a naive nature. So cool. So this one was received at a, uh, I'm guessing from Sycamore at uh, Lumio City, and they've just tra uh, wanted to trade it off, just like we will have to do as well. But yeah, so let's let's get Squirtle up to level seven. So let's get into the bag, find these rare candies, level two, three. I like to do this on camp so you guys can see like what's going on. Once it starts to get like a lot bigger variance in the gap, I'll speed it. I'll speed it up with um the power of editing. But while we're nice and low, I'll just um do it all on cam. And then we go level seven. Squirtle the turtle. And we land water gun. Excellent. So let's get out of there. And I believe, I believe, we, yeah. I'm just going to continue our Route 4, I guess. I know these mazes can get a bit annoying. Who knows, I might, I might have a little grinding sesh to like cruise through these mazes at the start of the next episode. But yeah, I think, I think we'll um, continue through Route 4 in the next episode and then hopefully we should head on to Lumio City. And I'll kind of just wing it and see. We'll see what happens. Let's just pick up this last item. Awesome. I don't know. Let's. So what's going on here? I think I think the best place to end it would be at this waterfall. Oh look, there's a rose. 
into rocks. That would have been proud of one trade off. Straight rocks. But let's get out of there. Alrighty, and let's. Let's end it here. I think this is a pretty epic spot to end it. But yeah, so. In the next episode, let's make sure we save it. So in the next episode, we're going to continue uh, grinding through trainers on this route. Um, and then hopefully make our way into Lumio City, go to Professor Sycamore's lab, get one of our three Kanto starters. We'll get a wonder trade off there. And yeah, good times. This should be an epic next episode. A lot will go down. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was, it was pretty grind heavy. But if you guys did enjoy today's episode, be sure to drop a like down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in episode number 6. Thanks for watching. Peace.